As you know, I'm kind of preoccupied now with the highest echelons of Rod Lowe and Atik Yomin and Eric Anpin, the, the three heads. But especially at Rod Lowe, because I think that that is the ama, the penis. And it's also the cubit, the forearm cubit, from the elbow to the tip of the finger. Actually, that's what the tefillin is, and that's the signal of a man. The strength of the cubit, of the forearm, the power. And that's a uh, symbol of the penis also. But since doing the last video yesterday, I'm if in the middle of the night, these couple of things came to me. I, I did the gematrias of one, and now this morning I just did the gematria of another, and let me reveal some of these. The ima, the ama, ima, it's a, because it, it's a, it comes from the word ima, it comes from mother also. And in a certain sense, you know, when they talk about the three mother letters, you know, that relates to the ama, the phallus, aleph, mem, hey. But to me, I'll show you how it relates exactly to the phallus because that's the head that's not covered. That has no, that's above the, the, the keta hokman bina of, uh, of uh, atik yomin are not covered here by Zir and by by uh, Eric Anpin, so they're the unco it's the uncovered head, and isn't that what a bris is? Don't we uncover the penis? We perform operations where we cut the mila, and we rip off the perea, and then the matzitza hadam. Three functions, and those are the three sapphiro of the he head that's not a head that's covered, not covered by any lower coverings. So we take those coverings off, and that's why we, we know this is the amma. And so I did the gematria for amma, aleph mem hey. In full, comes out to be 197, plus three terms, that's 200, which is a big deal already, is a resh. And then the seven letters, and Aleph is three, Mem is two, <clears throat> He is two, that's 200 plus seven letters, that's 207, that's Ein Sof. So this Amma, this phallus, this cubit, comes from Ain't Sof. <laughs> That's where that comes from. Then, <coughs> I did, actually last night, let me get to that, I, then I did for Eric Anpin, I'm, I'm skipping the middle here, I'm skipping Ta Noog. Eric Ampen, they use Ratzon. Ratzon is the complete embracing cover, desire. And I did the gematria, the full gematria for Ratzon. Remember, the regular gematria is 246, it's Shemo. Shemo Echad, Shemo is a Ratzon. And if you use the 700, the 700 of the final nun, comes out to be 996, plus four letters, that's 1,000, and that's the aleph. So that's all inherent in um, Ratzon. But then I spelt it out in full. <clears throat> resh with a yud, so it's resh yud, um, uh, 
Shin, it's 510. Zadik, 204. Um, oh, I just found the Zadik up here in the uh, other one. If I did the seven letters from the 197 with Ama, that came out to be 204, that's Zadik. Anyway, so I did the Zadik, 204, 12 for Vav, 106 for Nun. So Ratzon in full comes out to be 832. 832 is Eretz Yitzrael. So when we're talking in the Ratzon, it's only a symbol to talk about Eretz Yitzrael. Or when you talk about Eretz Yitzrael, it's only a symbol to get you into the level of Ratzon. Because by Gematria, they're parallel. You know, the word Kabbalah means parallel, you know. And then, this morning, while I was just about, I was going to do this gematria and see what it came out to be, but I, I didn't, I had the other two last night. I had Ein Sof from the, from the uh, highest level of Rod Low, which would make sense. And then I had Eretz Yitzrael from Eric Antpin, the lower. But now, I, what I did this morning, right before the video, I did the Gematria Ta'anug, which is the seven lower Sapphirot of Eric Anpin. And in that seven, well, Ta'anug is pleasure, and as I've determined, that's the feminine. And it should be the feminine because I've determined that the Yama is the three heads of the penis above. So it would make sense that the seven, the linear seven of the Shabbos now, would be feminine. And it is, because ta'anug means pure pleasure. It doesn't need the orgasm to create a child. Remember that the only mitzvah that's talked about in Bereshus, the first chapter, the first portion of the Torah, is to be fruitful and multiply. When you read, like, um, Sefer HaMitzvot, <clears throat> by the Arizal, the whole thing's only about, the, the first chapter, there's only one mitzvah. That's the most important mitzvah. That's the mitzvah given to the man. And that's the penis. From Rod Lowe. Yama. Now, I did Ta'anug. Ta'anug, Gematria. Tov is 406. Ayan, 130. Nun, 106. Vav, 12. Gimel, 73. So that comes out to be 727. So, you know, I'll hunt around looking for things for that. I didn't see too much, you know. Then I added the five, five letters. So I got to be 732. And so that's Laban, Lavan, white, the biblical figure. With that final 700 for the nun. But then I wasn't satisfied with that exactly. I added <clears throat> on top of the, I added the, the number of letters. So I had the five terms that came out to be 732. And now I'm going to add the letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 letters on top of 732. That comes out to be 745. And 745 is Haman, Haman, whatever it's called. Haman from, 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 from uh, the Megillah, from Purim. 
Haman, the one we do the grogger and Hey Mem Nun, final Nun, 745, which relates to Tanug, the second highest level, the feminine level of pleasure. And so how would that relate to the feminine level of pleasure? Because the entire book of the Megillah is called Esther. And the Megillah in the Mishnah is spelled Mem, Gimel, Lamed, Hey, Without a Yud, and that's 78, and that's Masla area. That's where things can be changed. That's where things can be changed. That's where things can be changed in the Masla area. Up there in the Masla area, in the three heads of Keta, in the, in the Ama, in the Tanug, in the Ratzon. We're talking about Tanug, and we're talking about Haman, and we're talking about Esther. Whenever you talk about Haman, you're talking about Esther. Because she was responsible for his downfall. I just got this, so it's a new evaluation. And of course, uh, one has to run with it themselves. I have no final word, I just got it 15 minutes ago. So to me, this is a wow moment that Haman, Haman, is from Tanug in Atik Yomin. And it goes, Ama, Ratzon, Tanug. You know? Let me just do, well, TikTok, TikTok. Let me just do this, Tanug. Um, 246, because uh, I call it Amman now. I don't call it Amen or Emuna. Uh, 46, so that's uh, 12, 1, 21, 10, 2, 2. All right, we'll figure it out. But um, well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, no. Tick tock, tick tock. Real time Kabbalah. I was looking for something in real time. <laughs> anyway, these three things, the names and the gematria of these names, represent, let me just repeat them, from, from the Ima, from, from Rod Lowe, it's Ain Saf, from Tanug and, and, and Atik Yomin, it's Haman, And from Ratzon and Eric Ampin, it's Eretz Yisrael. And since this is just new, how this unfolds within the spectrum of the tradition, so to speak, or the body tradition even, without anything else, is a matter of analysis and debate or at least a matter of analysis for your own personal understanding. And um,
go from here.